we need to determine the stability of this characteristic equation. So first of all, write a column with first element, it is s raised to 4, then the powers of that, powers of s, that is s raised to 4, then s raised to 3, s raised to 2, s raised to 1, s raised to 0. Now take the first element and its alternative element, first element, second element, third element. So alternative element means first after first element take third element and after third element take fifth element. The coefficient here s raised to 4 it is 1. The coefficient here 8 square is 8 and here it is 3. Now take the second element and then its alternative element. Second element and its alternative element. So the coefficient here s cube it is 2. The coefficient here for us it is 4. And there are no more elements, so we will write 0. Now we need to multiply this. So first of all, starting from here, we need to multiply like this. This is the direction. So 2 into 8. 2 into 8 minus 1 into 4. 1 into 4 divided by our starting element. Starting element is 2. So we will get 2 into 8, it is 16 minus 1 into 4, it is 4 by 2. 16 minus 4 it is 12 by 2 that is 6. So we will get this element as 6. Now we need to find next element. For that starting from 2 the direction is going to be like this. So starting from 2 and coming like this. So we are going to do the multiplication 2 into 3. 2 into 3 minus 1 into 0. 1 into 0 all divided by our starting element. We started the direction from here. So starting element it is 2. So 2 into 3 it is 6 minus 1 into 0 it is 0 divided by 2. We will get the answer as 3. So this element will be 3. Now we need to find this element. For that the direction is going to be like this. So starting from 6 and ending here. So 6 into 4. 6 into 4 minus 2 into 3. 2 into 3 divided by our starting element. Starting element it is 6. So 6 into 4 it is 24 minus 3 into 2 it is 6 divided by 6. 24 minus 6 it is 18 by 6. The answer is going to be 3. So our first element the answer will be 3. Now we need to find the second element. So we are going to do the multiplication starting from 6. The direction is going to be like this. Here there are no element so it is 0. So the direction will be like this. So 6 into 0, 6 into 0 minus 2 into 0 divided by our starting element. It is starting element here, starting element 6. So 6 into 0, it is 0, then 0 by 6, the answer is 0. So this element will be 0. Now we got these two elements. Now we need to find the last element. Okay. For finding last element, what we need to do? Starting from here, then do the multiplication like this. This is the direction. So 3 into 3. 3 into 3 minus 6 into 0 divided by our starting element. Starting element it is 3. So 3 into 3 it is 9 minus 6 into 0 it is 0 divided by 3. 9 by 3 it is going to be 3. So we got the answer as 3. If you are getting 3 and the last element here it is 3. So if you are getting those two values as same then our answer is going to be correct. The last element of our characteristic equation and the last element that we are getting here, if both those values are same, then our answer is going to be correct. Now, in order to determine stability, we need to check the first column. First column, all the elements we need to check. Here it is a positive number, here it is a positive number, here it is a positive number. All are positive numbers. All are positive numbers. So, we will say that our system is a stable system. Suppose if there is a negative value here, then we can see this is a positive value, this is a positive value, this is a positive value, here it is a negative value. So a sign change occurs from positive to negative. Then from here a negative value, then a positive value, then again a sign change occurs. Positive to negative, then negative to positive. There will be two sign changes. Like in that case, our system will be unstable system. If any one of the element in the first column is a negative number, in that case our system will be unstable. In this question, all elements are positive, therefore our system is a stable system.